I received many questions from end users such as, our team site is becoming the dumping grounds and team members are working from the wrong versions, or I'm just unsure when to save my files on Teams or SharePoint. So today's video overviews where files are stored on Teams and SharePoint. You'll be surprised where these Teams files are located. I don't have a better introduction than that, y'all. It speaks for itself. Let's explore experiment so you can execute effectively. What is Teams? It is a hub or site for team members to collaborate and communicate in one common place. It is easy to use. You and your colleagues have designated channels within Teams to share files, chat, you can make calls and even conduct meetings. When a team site is created, a person will be assigned as the site owner to manage and grant permissions to others. So you may be a contributor or a visitor with read access to a team site. Access can also be given to guests. Let's graphically look at the team's file hierarchy in a way that end users can understand. So the biggest misconception is that when users upload a file to Teams, they think it is saved in Teams. In fact, it is saved on SharePoint. When the site owner creates a Teams site, the system creates a library reserved just for Teams called Documents. It also includes general and channel folders that stores the files and it's all on a SharePoint internet site. Now, how many of you knew that um, Teams files were saved on SharePoint? Leave it in the comments below. So what type of files should you post on Teams? Automatically, you know, any meeting related files like transcripts or recordings are stored within a general or channel folder. Although you can save Office 365 files or images and PDFs in Teams, you should ask this question. Is there a dedicated SharePoint document repository? And if you're not sure, ask the site owner. And if you are the site owner, you should pin a post, you know, with guidance on where documents should be uploaded. You don't want your team to risk uploading duplicates or incorrect files. You know, imagine this, a new colleague finds a document in the post or the file tab in Teams and begins to updating the information just to learn later he had access an old version. Pretty frustrating, right? Let me bring this graphic to life. Okay, so I have navigated to the team site. I wanna just quickly share the structure with you. Here we have a team site called Track Creations. It is public. Members um, have access to it. You will always get a general tab. It's by default. You cannot delete it. Informations are stored here as well. And when you look at these two here, we created a specific group um, for safety project and training. But here, let's take a look in, you know, the post tab. This is where all the chat goes on and people are sharing documents or, you know, links to content. If you want to find your files quickly, click on the files tab. This will have all the documents that was included in the post located here. The one that we're going to talk about is this budget expectation. Notice the date on it as well as the version. Now, I had shared with you that this information is stored in SharePoint. The documents is a library on SharePoint with a folder um, called General. Let's go to SharePoint. Click on the three dots for more options and choose Open in SharePoint. Okay, so let me share with what you see here. Yes, we are on SharePoint. We are in that Track Creations public group. And by default, it goes with um, navigates in the Shared with us. I'm not sure why Microsoft decided to do that, but we are clearly in the 
documents library within a general folder. And notice our files here, right? So same date and version. So it's almost just like, you know, it's just sitting in Teams. If I click on the document library, again, what you will see here in site library is showing you that same structure. There could be other folders here, but you can easily, you know, add this um, folder to your OneDrive if you like. And sometimes people get confused that when they see in, in channels up here, all this is doing is just really helping you know which folders are also located in Teams. Notice the icon here. When you hover over it, you can easily go back to Teams um, by clicking on this icon here. Did you have an aha moment in that last segment? If you did, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Microsoft tricks, tips, and news. So what is SharePoint? SharePoint is also a collaboration site. You can say it was the original collab site. It is a centralized knowledge repository within an intranet platform. When it comes to file management, it mainly involves storing and organizing documents and content for departments or projects, which also integrates with Teams. And as I had just showed you in the demonstration before. Now, this part is important. Not all libraries are listed in Teams. You can post links and add tabs at the top of Teams site for easy access. Let's look at this graphic again. So try to save your files on a SharePoint internet site in custom libraries and add the links in Teams whenever possible. It's going to save so much headache, right? The old SharePoint saying is, which is still true today, when documents are stored on a SharePoint internet, you have one version of the truth. This statement means that you will have one document containing the most recent updates. So let's go look at this in the SharePoint environment. Okay, so I am on a SharePoint internet site. You know, we're actually on the SharePoint dashboard that shows, you know, what you know, team sites that you have access to, you can navigate to where you need to be easily. This is the SharePoint homepage for track creations. It's letting me know that there is a team site that is associated with it. The site owner may have, you know, added some information, you know, onto a page for you to have easy access to. But let's look at the select navigation. So in the left navigations, I will have, you know, different libraries to store my content. We've already talked about the document library that is reserved for um, Teams. If you have, you know, notes um, within OneNote, it creates a notebook for you and some system ones as well. But what I want to show you here is if I go to that safety budget, Again, with all the safety budget in this document repository, right? So here's that budget expectation. Notice the date on here. This one has a July 1st date, as well as a different version that was in Teams. So this is why it's important, you know, for you to let your team know which, you know, library or SharePoint site where they should store content and what the you know user should do is post the link. So how do you do that? So let's just click the document. We're going to say copy link, hit this copy button here. Let's go to teams. We're in our posts. Let's create a new post here and paste it. If you hover over it, this is going straight to that SharePoint. So if any changes are made, you're going to see your versions change six months down the road. You know they're working from the correct document. Here is that slide again. Make sure you take a screenshot of it. Share this with your team. If they have a better understanding where the files are stored, maybe your team site will not become the dumping grounds. Well, that's all I have for you today. Now, go work your magic.